biggest resource in the world is water. And the water concern that we heard, it was more overplayed, but at, at least it brought us to attention that it's made it a priority. Only on KDKA, the city of Aliquippa taking a big step towards a better quality drinking water, thanks to a new filtration plant. Megan Schiller explains what today means for both local leaders and concerned residents, new at six. From the ashes will rise a phoenix. That's what the mayor of Aliquippa said today. But quite literally, from all of this debris will rise a new facility that will soon pump out clear drinking water. The sun shined down and the claw raised up. You're looking at the future site of Aliquippa's new water filtration plant. Six years ago, if you would have said the, the Municipal Water Authority of Aliquippa was going to build a $14 million water filtration plant, everybody would have laughed. Chairman Matthew Modis and his crew watched as Eunice Demolition ripped down the old administrative building, clearing way for the new plant. I asked Modis, why not just replace the lines? We did a study at the request of some of our residents. It'd be about $120 million in about a 40-year project nonstop of the, to replace all the lines in the city of Aliquippa. Here's a first look at the rendering. The new $15 million filtration plant aims to remove the iron and manganese that can give water this brown color. Infrastructure is 120 years old. you got to start somewhere. So just take pride in the little things. I first talked to concerned residents nearly two years ago. When do you remember the water problem? At forever like 30 years easy that I can remember. These are two bottles of water that came directly from the faucet and this was Monday night at 9 p.m. We talked to countless members of the 900 member Facebook page Aliquippa Water Issues and were the only TV station there as resident concerns boiled over at a community meeting with the water board. So anybody who says that we wouldn't drink the water that we serve that's incorrect. They, they brought a lot of passion. I mean they're serious. They want quality water. We want quality water. We're going to get quality water. The Water Authority wants help and hopes local leaders like Congressman Connor Lamb, Reps Josh Kale, Robert Matsey, and State Senator Camera Bartolotta can make these changes possible financially. We produce way more than football players. We're more than that. And again, you're going to see the renaissance happen. Whether you want this to happen, it's going to happen. The city will change. It will not be your mom and pop style equipment moving forward. The Water Authority tells me to think of the $15 million as a down payment because there are still millions of dollars of needed infrastructure improvements. They already replace about one mile of line per year, but if they manage to secure more funding, they can replace even more. Reporting in Aliquippa, Megan Schiller, KDK News.